Hello and welcome to another edition of Gan Jared's Toy Reviews. Today we're actually going to be reviewing something recent for once. From the latest series from LEGO, The Atlantis, it is 8056, The Monster Crab Clash. Try saying that five times fast. Uh, it's from the on and off series of Underwater Treasure Adventure, as I like to call it. Where you're underwater and they have adventures whilst finding treasure. Sometimes they fight monsters. The... I think it was like Aqua Waders or Aqua Zone was like the earliest, and this is the latest. This series has a much more mystical feel about it. It's uh, got a lot of deep ones, let's call them Lovecraftian creations of fishmen and uh, dire beasts. But before we get on to the dire beasts, let's look at the figure, which is really, really nice. This is the diver. He has uh, got a really nice apparatus for swimming. Here, let me just take it off and show you. It's got, it's very enclosed, and uh, I like it's got, like, the uh, peg holes, so you can really add stuff onto it. Uh, the only real detraction, I guess, would be that, first off, this is a very large piece that you got, and I don't think they've ever made anything like this before, so uh, you're kind of stuck with green if you want to make something. I can't really move up and down, but I don't think that's really a detraction because it's so nice and steampunky and Victorian diving apparatus. And uh, the figure itself is really nice, even without it. It's got the uh, a nice, you know, square jawed face, but then on the back it has scary square jaw and a lot of nice printing. You can see all these tubes in the front and even printing on the uh, legs with that cool Trident logo. And, uh, once again, a very, uh, old-timey style. Neon acid green flippers and things and a harpoon gun. Uh, it's just a really nice figure, and I definitely think you should pick him up just because he looks so damn nice. Uh, it comes with a harpoon, as you can see. It also comes with this sort of, what I like to call the Lego useless, never gonna be used again things. This is, uh... Golden Treasure Disc. It's every set comes with one of these. This one is orange and crabby. It's very nice looking. It's got a lot of nice printing, and uh, you can sort of I like to store it on the sort of back of the crab, so that uh, the diver has to fight him to get it. And let's talk about the crab. It is an interesting one. I like it, but then it does have some flaws to it. But I mean, look at him, look at his eyes, they are so cute. Look at him, he's such a cutie patootie. But he also has a lot of nice glyphs and stuff. Like, what is he here for? Uh, to kick ass and be so damn cute. With his cute little claws. Which I actually don't really like that much, because they're basically seated right on the front of his mouth. So it kind of looks weird however you push it, it looks like... It's, anyway, but it's got crab claw monster opening action, and, uh, it's neat. It's got decent possibility. The legs are pretty nice. They're all that, uh, ratchety stuff. And a new piece I don't think I've ever seen before, sorry about that, is this, sort of like it's a continuation of the, um, teeth, dragon teeth or whatever those are, that you can see on his knees. They're very sharp, and, uh, they could be sort of used as, like, caveman knives or something like that. They're pretty neat. Uh, I like them a lot. And they do look very menacing on the figure. It's a, it's a nice one. It's got, I love black and orange. That's like my favorite thing. So in all in all, I think this is a really good set and I think you should get it. Uh, just because the diver is really awesome. It's a pretty good price, you know. I think you get your money's worth. It's a little, the crab is a little small. But I mean, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes.